Eleanor was diagnosed with stage 4S neuroblastoma in March. When your nerves first form, it's when that cancer can form. So it's like your original nerve cells that don't form correctly. And they found it in her liver, all over her liver, and there was a mass near her adrenal gland. And a little bit of it was in her bone marrow. And after she got diagnosed, we went to a pediatric event called Runway to Hope, and we saw Joe there, recognized him from Deland, and then um, he came up to us later and had the idea for the drink. I spoke to uh, Sarah at the event, and I said, um, I want to name. I want you to name a drink after Eleanor and, uh, and design it, and we'll put it on at uh, all of our locations and on our Facebook. And a portion of the proceeds we can help to for Eleanor and their family's financial situation towards uh, the, the treatment and help with the family. We wanted it to be strong and sweet, so Joe helped us make the drink. So we had the double shot of espresso and the... On top of the espresso that always <laughs> comes with the drink. So uh, when you order one, we have to have you sign a caffeine waiver. <laughs> but uh, once we get past that, it's a, it's a wonderful, strong and sweet drink. Just yep. like the and then, of course, we had to have pink sprinkles on top. <laughs> well, it's been fabulous. We had a little kickoff party. And everybody was there for a single purpose, to help Eleanor. So that was a, such a special event in itself. And from there, uh, the people would post it, and social media kind of took it from there, and everybody has come in and, and just warm-heartedly ordered the drink, uh, Warrior Princess, and it's just been really special.